One of the main questions we get from our customers is, I got my IMs, now what? Or, if I buy from 64 Audio, do I need anything else to be able to use these IMs while performing? Am I getting the whole setup as a package? The simple answer is, you are technically getting earphones from 64 Audio. The parts that go into your ear and the cable that has a 3.5 millimeter TRS jack at the other end, similar to any other earphone. Luckily, it's easier and more cost-effective than ever to integrate IEMs into your performance. There are a few more elements you'll need to effectively monitor your mix using custom IEMs. In our first example, if you're a musician who gigs at different venues every night, with an array of audio capabilities, how do you make sure you're able to use your in-ears in a variety of live environments? Probably the best way to be able to use your IEMs in almost any live audio environment is to own your own wireless IEM system, a transmitter and receiver. Depending on how many monitor mixes are available at the venue and the size of your band, you can have it run in stereo or mono. When buying your IEMs on 64audio.com, you can also pick up one of the Shure wireless products we carry on our accessories page. If you're a gigging or touring band who wants to transition to IEMs but can't ensure that every venue has IEM capabilities for monitoring, what can you do short of traveling with a semi full of gear? Other than the actual IEMs, you should aim at providing as much of the live audio package as possible. That can start by everyone having wired IEM packs, like the Shure P9HW, to a wireless IEM system for every performer on stage, like the Shure PSM300, and advancing those details with the venues. Nowadays, more than ever, building a full IEM rig is very affordable. Things like a mic splitter, digital rack mixer, and wireless transmitters and receivers. In a church setting, as you transition from floor monitors to IEMs, what do you need other than the IEMs themselves to make that transition? There are many ways of integrating IEMs into your current system, and many ways of building a system from the ground up to maximize the use of your IEMs. Whether with IEMs or floor monitors, it's always recommended to have a separate mixer to handle front of house mix and monitor mixes. Without a separate mixer, you can definitely still make it work with enough mix buses or auxiliaries. Probably the most popular option for churches is the route of personal monitor mixers for every person on stage. These can either be added to existing systems, or you can look into replacing your mixing consoles with digital mixers that have these capabilities built right in. To learn even more, check out some of the setup diagrams in the description below, or go to 64audio.com.